Now this is now this is interesting because this actually made the news because isn't it? It's the first time it's been released on everything. Well, it's yes, actually, it's not the first time. Although I think the television thing is on VHS. Yes, they are. Re they're releasing it on VHS. Yeah, exactly. So it's latest film by Ben Wheatley made. You know, Kill List and Sightseers. And I think this was shot almost before Sightseers was released. Because by the time I was interviewing Ben Wheatley for Sightseers for the Culture Show, I think they'd already. I think they'd done fielding. It was done very, very quickly. Um, uh, Co-written with Amy Jump, who of course is his regular co-writer and filmmaking collaborator. Black and white released simultaneously in all formats: DVD, cinema, television, pay-per-view as well. I think, and. It is an example, I think, of the idea that simultaneous release is the future. In fact, funnily enough, simultaneous release you can trace, but I was talking to Steve Woolley this morning about the fact that they simultaneously released The Evil Dead in cinemas and on DVD on the same day. You look back a few years to Mum and Dad, which was simultaneously released on television, on uh, pay television, I think it may have been, on DVD and in cinemas on a boxing day. So, uh, set during the English Civil War, the plot is elusive and it's it's not a film that's best served by describing the plot other than to say, so English Civil War, Rhys Shearsmith is an alchemist, joins up with this raggedy band of people who are all tired of war, all in various states of disarray and disbelief and distress. They are apparently heading in search of an alehouse and they never find an alehouse. What they find is a field full of mystical mushrooms and a very charismatic figure played by Michael Smiley who tells them that somewhere in this field there is buried treasure. I've had little success in applying the master's arts. I've been looking for anything of great worth. Which is why I've conjured you. This place holds a great treasure. I am certain of it. I merely require a keener eye to pinpoint a particular location. And as much as I detest you personally, my dad, I acknowledge that your gifts are stronger in certain areas. But you and I might define in what? I have little of my master's art in divination. You are confused, sir. It is I who am capturing you, not the other way round. It's a very, very atmospheric piece, and it, it's interesting that, uh, as with so much of the director and the writer's work, it has that thing about it. it's this very, very black comedy played very, very straight-faced, tipping over into horror almost unrecognisably. I mean, it is about people in fear, people tired of war, people running away from something, people beset by superstition, terrified by the possible absence of God. It's shot very evocatively in this um, black and white, which is interspersed with, with the tableau vivant, you know, living tableaus, which seem to sort of offer a way into the story, but also are there to kind of to dazzle and confound. There is a thing at the beginning which says this film uses um, flash strobe imagery. And of course it does at one point as it sort of descends into hallucinogenics. And yet that is f far and away the least disturbing or distressing moment in the film. I think it's not a plot spoiler to say that there is one shot in the film, which is a slow motion shot of a, of a man walking through a field attached to a rope, which is one of the creepiest things I've seen in a long time. It's very interesting because I watched it uh, with uh, Linda, my partner, and during the course of the film, there was this, 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 this great brooding sense of something. And afterwards, she was genuinely creeped out, like properly creeped out. And when you said, OK, well, what is it that we've, you found so creepy? It's individual images. It's, it's something which looks like a blackened sun. It's a darkening of a sky. It's a tilt of a head. It's, a, it's as you heard from that kind of that gr groaning sound. It's that sense of something coming up from the earth. I mean, obviously, all the way through, there are nods to, you'd see, like, Witchfinder General, Conqueror Worm the devils to some extent and yet it's very much its own piece i read an interesting article that was saying that one of the reasons the simultaneous distribution works really is because it doesn't fit into the standard release schedule and that's certainly true it is a film which appears to exist in and of itself although it clearly floats back to a heritage of british cinema but it's uh, it's very interesting that you can make the decision of where to see it yourself and, and in the end it's i mean i i agree with simultaneous distribution i think it is the future i think if you want to watch something at home do that if you want to watch in the cinema and you make the decision to go to the cinema that's something special it's further proof that ben wheatley is in a field of his own when it comes to this sort of stuff it's very powerful very strange and very hard to describe <laughs>